What I'm sharing today is a bit more of a lifestyle hack, but it does have budgeting implications. Kids have been home over the school holidays and feeding them just, especially when you've got four, seems to be a never ending task. They range in age from two to nine. So they eat at different times, they eat different amounts, and there were two ways I could go about it. I could make all their meals and be pretty much doing that all day, every day, <laughs> it feels like. The other option is to just let them eat whatever they want, but I find that ends up getting really expensive because kids love to snack and they will just have snacks all day quite often, or at least my kids will. And then I am actually a little bit fussy about what my kids eat and so I like to know that they're getting a fair balance of nutrients and all that. And I know that it, if left to their own devices, they're not going to be doing that. So I developed a bit of an idea where they could get their own food but I knew sort of what they were eating and they knew what they were allowed to be eating without having to ask every 30 seconds, can I have this, can I have this, and me trying to remember, how many pieces of fruit have you had today, um, you know, oh, but it's almost lunchtime, which I'm going to be making for everyone, so I don't want you eating yet, and yeah, it just made my life so much simpler, so I'm going to share that with you, and maybe it will make your life simpler too. Okay, so I didn't do this for the two-year-old, because this is a bit beyond her, but for each of the children, I have made up a little chart. And so on this chart, so for our youngest one, she is not old enough to read yet, but she understands numbers. So I did pictures, and plus pictures are just fun too. First, they need to have their breakfast, and they can have one or two lots of breakfast. So whether that's cereal or toast, they know what they're allowed to have for breakfast. And when they've had it, they do a tick. And so fruit, they're allowed to have one or two pieces of fruit. Snack drawer, I will show you my snack drawer, and one or two. Zoe today has had two snacks, so she's got two ticks there. Then we've got sandwich, and so this is what works in my household. There is no limit on how many sandwiches the kids can have. The reason for that is I know they don't actually really like sandwiches all that much. They will eat them if they are hungry enough, but it's almost as a last resort. So if they really are hungry, because some days kids just are really hungry and sometimes they're going through growth spurts and whatnot. So yeah, I've left that one as an unlimited one because I know that they won't just be eating for the sake of eating. They will only have a sandwich or toast if they are actually hungry. Got freezer snacks, I'll show you what I've got for that. A small yogurt and oats, a carrot, and then we've got crackers with avocado and cheese. So. I went through the things that I knew like my kids would eat and what I thought was like fairly balanced and what I was happy for them to have and here it is and because they've got ticks they keep track of how many of the thing that they've had and I can also have a look at it to know what they're kind of getting each day and if I need to say for example um, consistently one of my kids never has the cheese on crackers or the oats and cereal without milk for breakfast then I'd be like all right I need to make sure that for dinner I give them like a slice of cheese or something to meet their calcium needs or you know make make them a milkshake or something like that. So you'll notice on the snack drawer there's a little butterfly that's like I said my daughter can't read and so the butterfly is there and then the snack drawer is there so she can match up that with the butterfly and so in our snack drawer most of our fruit stays in the fridge. We've got crackers, we've got various just other things. Um, that's like some muffins and stuff that we made up. My son um, loves fruit mince pies and he is super skinny and I'm trying to fatten him up. No one else in the household eats them except for him. So that's sort of my way of trying to just get some meat on his bones. And they were on clearance for a dollar after Christmas and they last forever so I bought like eight packets or something of those <laughs> so we're getting through them. So as you can see there freezer snacks also has a sticker which fell off but Zoe now knows that you know that's what the freezer snacks are so we've got stuff in here so um, like cookies that we made up. Cookies are a bit of a treat but actually I sneak some healthy stuff into them like they're full of nuts and seeds other stuff just to make sure that I'm sneaking in nutrients there that they might not know about. 
Oh no, one of them caught me. <laughs> So I've just found that this really simplified my life and it also gives the kids a lot more independence because they can pick what they want to eat and also just gauge it on how hungry they are and I can still keep track of what they're eating very very easily. Obviously this requires them being honest and hopefully I'm not being naive but my children are pretty honest with me though I do keep a little bit of an eye on it every now and then just to make sure they're not sneaking any extra stuff and believe me if they were caught out what I would probably do is tell them that for the next week I would be choosing everything that they ate for the day and it would not be exciting food so they would learn very quickly not to try to do that again <laughs> and we do have other things outside of this like we have icy poles in our freezer so on a hot day quite often the kids will ask if they can have an icy pole that doesn't get ticked off their list because it's just an extra thing or if maybe we're watching a movie together we'll have popcorn and that'll be an extra thing or we'll count it as one of the snacks quite often we do have popcorn in the snack drawer I just didn't have any this time and sometimes like my daughter who absolutely loves carrots will ask if she can have an extra carrot or something and usually I'm fine with that my other daughter will always ask if she can have extra snacks or treats and usually that's a no this can be customised to whatever your family likes to eat and enjoy. Hopefully I've explained this well enough that it makes sense and it could be something that you could use in your house to make your life easier. I have a video about my number one snack hack with children, which will seriously save you like a thousand dollars a day, I swear. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. See you next time.